Today, Misha Maslov's lifelong dream has come true, and he has found himself at the production site of Gummy Candies, his favorite sweet treat. Gummy bears and worms, jelly candies in chocolate and in icing. A lot of different aromas make you dizzy. Yes, Mr. Maslov, you will feel sweet here. I'd rather say too sweet. I'm in heaven. It's been my lifelong dream to find myself in a site like this. Having eaten five or six pounds of candies, Misha suddenly remembered that to destroy the plant stock was not his prime task. He came to a gummy candy plant to find out why they add some milk to gummy bears and which food additives are used to make these candies. Hi there! I'm eager to learn how my favorite chewy sweets are made. No problem at all. Let's have a look. Here are your chewy sweets. But, well, they don't look like the ones in my hands. They sure don't. We need to add some more ingredients here. So, sugar, syrup and water are the main ingredients of gummy candies. However, that paste will never turn into jelly without adding special additives. In other words, jellying agents. So, out of this powder, gummy candies are made. And what is the difference? Well, I've noticed uh, gelatin and pectin, correct? I'm sure there should be some difference between them. Yeah, the structure of the finished product is different. And if we use gelatin, the result will be gummy, more rubber-like. Just like the ones I'm keeping. Yeah, yeah, like that one. And if we add some pectin, it will be softer and chewier. Gelatin of animal origin. We come back to the candy factory. Misha Maslov has found out which ingredients are required for his favorite treat. But why isn't milk among them? Misha Maslov milked a cow this morning for that case. The senior manufacturing engineer explained that they don't add milk but lactic acid. Acid works differently with different things. I mean, in some cases we add it to enrich the taste, whereas in other cases it has a functional meaning. Gelling will only occur after adding the acid. And it happens with things containing pectin, for example. Misha Maslov keeps on monitoring the gummy candy's production process at the candy plant. So, sugar, water, jellying agent and lactic acid are poured and boiled in huge tanks. While sweet syrup is boiling, some extra liquid is being evaporated. To determine if our liquid gummy candies are ready to be stamped, we need to use such a serious device. It is called a refractometer. Too many letters are, by the way. It works like this. We shall take some liquid gummy candies. Place them on the object plate and have a look through its ocular. We can see a scale inside which indicates the amount of the dry matter. In other words, the amount of liquid which has been evaporated during the boil. It is very much the same as a spinner. Okay, what shall I choose? Here are hippos, lemons, scorpions, elephants, you name it. I prefer the classic though and pick worms. Okay, we are carrying the mold to install. Bears are being stamped right now, but I don't like them at all. I have my own mold and it should be installed right away. Could you help me? I sure could. Well, and what shall I do? Okay, we'll open the shutter. Okay, we do it. Then pull down that shaft and take the bare printing board away. Take it away. Take it away and put it on the floor. Okay, they are bears. 
There are bears and now we have worms. Let's take it, turn it over, and insert it like this. What is your favorite printing board? My favorite printing board? They are the same to me. Do you like them all? Yes. Well, okay. Good candy do matter for me. I like the worms the most. Yes, worms. So, we will stamp worms right now. Sure. Finally, it's time to turn liquid gummy candies into worms. The warm mixture is automatically dispersed with a depositor into holes in starch. Such an incubator can produce 2,000 chewy invertebrates per minute and 10 tons per shift. By the way, have you ever thought, why worms? Probably gummy candies made of worms rather than worms made of gummy candies, huh? To make worms of different colors out of homogeneous sweet bases, we need to add some flavoring and coloring agents. Banana and cherry food additives are usually made of fruit extracts. The flavor palette is quite diverse and includes about 50 of them. As for flavoring agents, the ones made of the original origin matter, but in some cases their origin is quite exotic. We use different coloring agents, I mean the natural ones, but the raw materials are different and can be of both vegetable and animal origin. In some cases, they can be made of insects that live on cactuses. Additives Due to the South American scale insects, the gummy candy insects get their color. The multicolor liquid is poured into holes squeezed out by a stamping machine in the starch basis. That powder keeps its shape well and absorbs extra moisture as well. The newly born worms are too liquid to have a bite. So, we bring them here to the refrigerating room to make them jelly well. They will be left here for the entire day. It's quite cool in here. It's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. That temperature is maintained on that level to make the worm solidify. But at first, I need to find the right corridor. Okay, here are the bees. Here are the bears. Okay, here we are with the worms. Okay, worms. And now it's time to have a different bite. When gummy candies get solidified, they are placed into a special sieve to be cleaned from the starch. After that, the gummy candies come through the final stage of their production process. Meanwhile, Misha Maslov is already there and is doing well indeed. Glazing is the final stage of gummy candies production. Everything happens here, in the rolling chamber, where a small amount of carnauba wax, a glazing agent, is added. It is mixed with our worms. They are evenly mixed and constantly rub each other, which actually makes them smooth, shiny, and really cute. Additives. Misha's sweet day is almost over. Today, our presenter is not only full of gummy bears and worms, but has learned a lot of many interesting things about his favorite candies. Some of the facts were not delicious, but they will not spoil his appetite, that's for sure. The sweet factory produces 20 tons of gummy bears per shift. But... It looks like they're going to be a little short of this number today. 